All right, it's Tuesday, March 2nd. I'm Tom Novak. This is your Saco Group weather briefing for northwestern Wisconsin. Yeah, we're going north and east, for that matter, of the tension zone, which, of course, is Minnesota and the Twin Cities metro. Yeah, we're going into northwestern Wisconsin for the beautiful lakes, beautiful country. Uh, and, yeah, if you're looking for some cabin property or any type of property up there in northwest Wisconsin, give Vic, Kelly, and their team over there at the Saco Group a call because they will certainly be able to help you. So let's go in north and east of that tension zone and take a look at the visible satellite loop here for today and this afternoon. And look at this, just a beautiful day in northwestern Wisconsin with mostly sunny skies, a few high clouds stretching from west to east and moving from west to east across uh, northwestern Wisconsin and the arrowhead of northeastern Minnesota. But that's it. The sunshine has certainly helped boosting temperatures as we are now into the upper 30s and lower 40s across northwestern Wisconsin. And if you like that, you're going to like the next probably seven to ten days. Take a look at the jet stream, the River of Air at 30,000 feet. And here we are. Here's northwestern Wisconsin, north and east of the tension zone. And look at where that jet stream is. It's well north of northwestern Wisconsin. And look at this. As we head into this weekend now and next week, look at how that jet stream is flowing from southwest to northeast across the upper Midwest and then into southern Canada. That keeps much of the eastern and central portion of the United States in an unseasonably warm weather pattern. It looks like this is going to, again, last into much of next week. In fact, the Climate Prediction Center is showing as we head in through March 7th through 11th, so this is all of next week, look at this, much above average temperatures north and east of the tension zone. In fact, even the tension zone has above average temperatures. That means that uh, the upper Midwest and northern plains are going to be featuring Temperatures a good 20 to 25 degrees above average. Yeah, that means spring has sprung at least for the first half of March here in the upper Midwest. In fact, look at temperatures from the European computer model guidance. As we head into Saturday of this weekend, we're talking about temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And then, even better than that, look at Sunday temperatures across northwestern Wisconsin. We're talking about upper 40s and lower 50s in uh, Spooner, Hayward, Cumberland, all these areas of northwestern Wisconsin. Just a beautiful, beautiful stretch of weather coming up. And then even as we head into Monday and then Tuesday of next week, yes, temperatures are good. 15 to 25 degrees above average north and east of the tension zone. So fantastic weather upcoming and not much in the way of snow. I'm sure we'll, we will get some snow as we get into the middle and latter portions of March but no snow in the, at least the next 7 to 10 days. And, of course, here's your extended forecast brought to you by the Saco Group for northwestern Wisconsin. Temperatures in the 40s for the next five days into Saturday of this weekend. And then, we yes, we even surge into the 50s as we get into Sunday and Monday of this weekend and next week. All right, that's your forecast. Thank you, Saco Group, for sponsoring it. Have a great afternoon and evening, everyone.